Hello fellow YouTubers, today I have here is a Zone Star P802QR2 Dual Extruder 3D Printer that I received from GearBest. And in this video I'm just going to give my initial thoughts for this printer. I have about 30 to 40 hours so far on it and I'll do an official review when I have well over 100 hours on this printer. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here at GearBest, this is basically an i3 clone, and you, you can see that it's under $250 US. And some of the best features that this printer comes with are the dual extruders, the auto level system, and the heated bed. First, let's go ahead and talk about the build process. It took me about four and a half hours to build, and that was with filming as well, which by the way, I accidentally deleted my footage so I unfortunately will not be able to make a build video for this printer. The instructions were actually written decent. I wouldn't say perfect because there was a few confusing parts but they do use a lot of pictures and one worded do this do that type of deal but for the most part they were they were okay. I do have three issues with this printer and one of them you can see it does not print centered I have no idea. I flashed three different firmwares. It could be fixed in Simplify 3D with offsets or in Cura. Me, I'd rather just go through the firmware and fix it there, and that's probably what I will do later on. One other issue I have is with the wiring. Zonestar doesn't really give you a way to hide these wires, so this will probably be a future upgrade for me. And the last issue I have is with the spool holder. They don't really hold your 1kg filaments very well, so that's kind of an issue with me, but can be fixed. Alright, let's go ahead and talk about printing. I've only printed dual colors with this printer so far. And how it works is you print these ooze shields around your model. And what it does is prevents your colors from kind of mixing, I guess. Prevents oozing from your nozzle from hitting the actual model, so it looks just like this and this just helps for a better quality printer and I use Simplify 3D to set this up. I'm not sure if Kira will set it up like that. Alright so let's go in more detail how this works. So basically if I'm printing green right now I'm gonna do green on the ooze shield and then I'll do green on the actual model on the green areas. Then it'll switch over to black, black on the ooze shield and then black on the model. Alright so let's go ahead and look at a print through time lapse and as you can see if you're printing with dual nozzles and a ooze shield your time is almost going to triple it then if you're going to print it in what with one extruder it's just because there's so much more moves so much retractions and all that kind of stuff as you can see it actually turned out pretty well and there are some red and green mixture in it but they're actually easy to clean up let's look at a couple prints so here's the frog as it's done ooze shield removes pretty easy all right so now that we have it removed let's go ahead and take a look and this print actually turned out very nice I was actually very impressed at this point I had my retraction settings all set up black is not mixing into the green where it shouldn't be and my prints are actually turning out really really nice I'm I actually really like this this print here is a vase, dual color. I did have issues with this one. A lot of red was mixing in the white, as you can see, and there are gaps between the white and red. And I did figure out how to fix this, and I will do a video on it later for dual extruder printers. I printed two of these octopus out because this one had gaps in it, just like that vase. And, the, and when I printed it the second time with the fixes that I made in Simplify 3D it turned out very nice I, I was very impressed with with how it turned out alright so I just wanted to keep this video short I do have to say I really love this printer I really love the dual colors and the models it was however a pain in the butt to put together as well as calibrating was a pain in the butt so I will have to say that was one of the major cons of this printer but so far I mean it prints pretty good quality and it prints really good quality with dual colors 
with that said I'll come out with an official review video later on and in that video I'll make sure I print with PETG, TPU and I really want to try to print with PVA the dissolvable supports uh, filament so I'm actually really excited to dig more into this printer with that said if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you like to see more videos on other 3D printers reviews and this printer in particular please uh, subscribe so you don't miss any of those episodes and like always thank you guys for watching and thank you for your support